Hey guys, I'm Jameson with Rogue Engineer and today I'm going to show you how to make this console table. So first I started off with the two 2x8s um, for the top. I cut those down to 58 inches. I did a couple extra steps just to get them nice and square and smooth tops. I planed the tops and then I ripped down the sides on the table saw just to get those nice square corners. Finally, I just cranked them together with two and a half inch pocket hole screws because it's quick and it's easy and it works. Then I cut the two by twos down per the plans. You can get those on my website or, and I'll link up in the description below. Now it's time to make the sides. Um, the way that I assembled them, I decided to uh, just go with two and a half inch wood screws and some wood glue. Pre-drill first to make sure that you don't get any splitting. I thought I was going to be able to attach the lower cross member with pocket holes, you can see on the bottom there, but uh, there's not enough room to get a drill in there. Maybe with a right angle drill or, um, or a shorter square bit but I didn't have either one of, the, one of those on hand so I just decided to attach it with the two and a half inch wood screws as well. Before going on to assemble the base we decided to sand the sides down as well as the remaining pieces. Now we can assemble the base so I started off with drilling the pocket holes in the long two by twos at each end then I went over to the sides and I marked where the edges of those long 2x2s would go and I attached them with wood glue and 2.5 inch pocket hole screws. Flipped the whole base over and did the same for the other side. Now we can attach the angled 2x2 truss supports. Start off by marking center on the top 2x2 so you'll know where that angle comes together. Then you'll need to pre-drill which I ended up doing right through the joint and then attach them together. Here comes the moment of truth and it didn't break apart. On the other side I decided to play it a little bit safer and pre-drilled on an angle, do the same thing for the top, pre-drill and attach with wood glue and two and a half inch wood screws. For the industrial look I decided to add some galvanized trim and casters. I started out with a smaller bit drilling up to a 3 8 inch diameter hole in the bottom of the joist hanger at the bottom of the foot in the center and hammered in a 5 16 inch T-nut to accept the casters. Finally, I had to reattach the hanger and thread in the caster, and the feet were done. Now it's time to finish off the project by attaching the top. I did so with some galvanized angles, but you could just as easily attach it with two and a half inch wood screws. Well, thanks for tuning in, guys. It was a lot of fun to build this one. It only cost us about 40 bucks, and we got it all done in a single afternoon. But hey, I want you to do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button down in the corner so you won't miss out on any cool upcoming project videos that we put out. Also, follow us on Facebook and Instagram so you'll get tons of sneak peeks of upcoming projects as well. That's all for now. Be safe and happy building.